morning everyone so in previous classes we have previous class we have discussed about uh, various modifications in gic and uh, including miracle mix so med cement uh, fuji to improved fuji bond and uh, we have discussed about amalgam the recent advances advances in amalgam so now continuing gic we have next next condensable gic Condensable glass ionomer cements, more properly termed as high viscosity glass ionomer cements, according to J. Lescar, et al., uh, 2001, the high viscosity occurs to the material by addition of polyacrylic acid uh, to the powder and finer grain size distribution. There is no need to place a sealant over a Fuji 9 restoration unless it requires protection from dehydration. It can therefore be contoured and polished under air or water spray immediately after it is set. So condensable glass ionomer is also Fuji 9. And advantages of a conventional glass ionomer cement are packable. This is packable, this condensable, easy placement, non-sticky, early moisture sensitivity is reduced, rapid finishing can be carried out, improved wear resistance and solubility in oral fluids is very low. Now, as a final restorative material in class 1 and 2, primary teeth, geriatric uh, restorative for class 1, 2, 3, 5 cavities in cervical erosion, final restorative material in class 1 and 2, permanent teeth in non-stress bearing areas, intermediate restorative material class 1 and class 2 cavities, sandwich restoration, core build-up material, fissure sealing material for permanent teeth. Compressive strength, 23 megapascals after one week and modulus of elasticity, 8.3 GPA, diametrical tensile strength is 22 megapascals. Then benefits of Fuji 9, specially developed for ART technique, high viscosity offers excellent bonding properties, high compressive strength and increased wear resistance enables placement and posterior restorations, chemical bond to the tooth structure, chloride release lowers the chance of recurrent caries, no shrinkage and coefficient of thermal expansion similar to tooth. Then we have compomer, that is polyacid modified composite resin. Compomers are the combination of composites and glass inomer. Compomers contain dimethacrylate monomer and two carboxylic groups along with the ion leachable glass. There is no water in the composition of these materials and the pa glass particles are partially salinated to ensure some bonding with the matrix. These materials set via free radical polymerization reaction and do not bond to the hard tooth tissues. There is significant acid-base reaction between the glass particles, not salinated and sparse carboxylic groups. Indications, sealing and filling of occlusal pits and fissures, restoration of deciduous teeth, minimal cavity preparation or tunnel preparation is required, lining uh, of all types of cavities where a biological seal and karyostatic action is required, cold buildup, replacement of caries dentine for the attachment of composite raisins, repair of defective margins and restorations. Advantages, superior working characteristics to raisin modified glass ionomer cement, ease of use, easily adapts to the tooth, good aesthetics and good fluoride release. Contraindications, class 4 caries lesions, lesions involving large areas of labial surface where aesthetic is prime concern. Class 2 caries lesions where conventional cavities are prepared, replacements of old amalgam restorations, for example, compomer, Dirac, Compoglass, Hydac. Then uh, we cannot use those. Lost cusp areas, then underneath metal or PFM tongs uh, where light cannot penetrate. Then we have geomer. Geomer is also a pre-reacted glass ionomer. Geomers are relatively new type of restorative material. The name geomer is a hybrid of the word glass and glass ionomer and composite. They have the properties of both glass ionomer, that is fluoride release and fluoride recharge, and resin composite. Excellent aesthetic, easy polishability, and biocompatibility. According to Ikemura K. et al., 2003, geomers are distinguished by the fact that while they are resin based, they contain pre reacted glass ionomer particles. The particles are made up of fluorosilicate glass that has been reacted with polyacrylic acid prior to being incorporated into the resin. 
The pre-reaction can involve only the surface of the glass particles, while surface pre-reacted glass ionomer, or SPRG, or almost the entire particle term, fully reacted glass ionomer, or FPRG. Geomers are similar to compomers and resin composites in being light activated and requiring the use of a bonding agent to adhere to the tooth structure. Example is Shofu's Beautiful. Okay, so we have first generation geomer and we have second generation geomer. In first generation geomer, example is Beautiful, FL, bond, FL bond, and fluorosealant. In second generation geomer, example is beautiful two, be uh, FN, FL bond two, beautiful flow, and beautiful opaque. Indications restoration of uh, all the types of cavities, then restoration of cervical erosion and um, root caries, laminate venules, and core buildup, ideal for periodontic restorations, other dental applications such as repair of fractured porcelain from composite restoration. Then uh, GIC as luting agent. So we have Fuji Ortho LC glass ionomer. In 1994, Fuji Ortho LC was introduced by GC Corporation, Tokyo, Japan, and light cure resin reinforced glass ionomer reported to be useful for bonding orthodontic brackets. Composition powder consists of fluoro aluminosilicate glass, and liquid consists of copolymer of polyacrylic and malic acid, HEMA, water, tamponquinone, and activator. So powder liquid ratio for this cement is 3 to 1. Then setting mechanism. The second mechanism of Fuji Ortho LC is the result of three reactions. First is obviously acid-based reaction when the powder and liquid are mixed. An acid-based reaction similar to that of conventional GIC is initiated. In addition, this is cured quickly by light irradiation from visible light curing device. The light irradiation activates free radical polymerization of HEMA and other two monomers to form a polyhema and other ionomers to form a polyhema matrix and thus hardens the material. The third reaction is self cure for the reason monomers. It is light initiated reaction that allow for early placement of arch wires while the acid based reaction occurs simultaneously, continues for a period of time after the mass has been cured by light irradiation. And advantages are saves a significant amount of chair time, eliminates the need for working in dry field, eliminates the need for etching and priming the enamel surfaces. Fluoride release protects the teeth against decalcification. Repairs are quick and easy, increased patient and operator comfort. Then we have GC dentine conditioner. This is a polyacrylic acid solution designed to remove the smear layer from the dentine for improved bonding of GI restorative lining and build up materials. Its deep blue tint and thin viscosity allow for easy placement and visibility on the tooth surface. Then we have Chemflex. It is a high strength glass ionomer restorative material. It is a fast setting glass ionomer restorative material which can be mixed to a condensable consistency, offering very high strength. It is available in six shades. Composition. Powder contains strontium, alumina, fluorosilicate, glass, polyacrylic acid, tartaric acid, and different pigments. Liquid contains polyacrylic acid. Indications. Restorations of class 5 lesions and cavities, restoration of class 3 lesions, and 1 and 2 lesions of, uh, class 1 and 2 lesions of deciduous teeth. Long-term temporary restoration for class 1, 2 cavities and permanent teeth. Fissure feelings, base and core buildup, and uh, aromatic restorative treatment technique. It should not be used as permanent restoration for occlusal stress-bearing areas. When used as core buildup, two-thirds of the remaining coronal dentine, or at least 2 mm of circumferential coronal dentine, should be left for retention. Then we have Ketac N100 Light Curing Nano Ionomer Restorator. A nano ionomer is an aesthetic fluoride releasing restorative solution, easy to create a high initial gloss and achieve a smooth final surface. Saving time in, is difficult to polish situations such as class pipe, reduce waste, quick delivery of the material, and the right to mix every time. The indications for Ketak Nano Light Curing Glass Ionomer Restorative are. Primary teeth restoration, small class 1 restoration, class 3 and 5 restoration, transitional restoration, filling defects and undercuts, laminate or sandwich technique, 
then core build up where at least 50% of coronal structure is remaining for support. This is how it looks like. The filler loading is approximately 69% by weight, of which the relative proportion of the two filler types are approximately 2 to 5 and 3 to 5 respectively. All the nanofillers are further surface modified with methacrylate silane coupling agents to provide covalent bond formation into free radically polymerized matrix. The FAS glass is radio opaque, has an approximate particle size of less than 3 microns and provides the basis for the glass inomer reaction, an extended fluid release in the presence of water and polycarboxylic acid functional polymer. It contains two types of uh, surface treated nanofillers and nanoclusters. Nanofillers are discrete nanoagglomerated and non-aggregated fillers of 5 to 25 nanometers in size. The methacrylate functionalized nanofiller in this composition include those chemically derived from both silica and zirconia. The non-cluster, the nanocluster fillers are loosely bound agglomerates of nano-sized zirconia or silica that appear as a single unit enabling higher filling loading, radio opacity, and strength. Then we have Ketac Nano Primer. It is a one-part visible light cure liquid specifically, specifically designed for the use with Ketac Nano Restorative. It is compromised. Uh, it is comprised of vitra bond, copolymer, hema, water, and photoinitiators. The primer is acidic in nature. Its function is to modify the smear layer and adequately wet the tooth surface to facilitate adhesion to the ketag nano restorative to the hard tissue. Ketag nano primer is applied to the surface for 15 seconds and air dried. The primer is then light cured for 10 seconds. Adequately air drying followed by a light curing of the primer before placement of ketac nano restorative provides adhesion, of the, adhesion to the tooth structure. Next, we have zirconia glass inomer cement that is a potential substitute for Miracle Mix. The mechanical properties of Z glass that is zirconia GIC were investigated after one day, one week, and one month storage in distilled water. Miracle Mix was used as a control and Fuji 9. GP acted as standards for comparison. No significant differences in hardness and compressive strength was observed for the three types of glass inomer. The tensile strength of Z glass inomer was, however, significantly greater than that of Miracle Mix due to the better interfacial bonding between the particles and the matrix. The zirconia glass inomer also showed comparable mechanical properties to the Fuji 9 samples. Zirconia GIC may serve as a potential substitute for the Miracle Mix because it is tooth colored and it has better mechanical properties. Now, we have discussed amalgam, we have discussed GIC, now coming on to composites. So, traditional composite was developed during 1970s, conventional macrophyll composites, they are not used now. Finely ground amorphous silica quartz was used for wide distribution in particle size. Average size is about 8 to 12 microns, and up to 100 microns can also be present. Then the properties were filler loading 70 to 80 percent, compressive strength to 50 to 300 megapascals, tensile strength 50 to 65 megapascals, elastic modulus 8 to 15 GPM, coefficient of thermal expansion was 25 to 35 ppm per degree Celsius. Then what was option 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 mg per centimeter square, no hardness was 55, radio opacity 2 to 3 millimeter. Compressive strength is greater than that of unfilled acrylates because of the transfer of stress from matrix to the filler particles. Tensile strength and elastic modulus in hardness is also increased. Increase in hardness is due to the filler reinforcement and cross link grazing structure. Water's option, polymerization, shrinkage, and thermal expansion are reduced. More recent abrasion than unfilled acrylates. Roughening of the surface and the selective abrasion of the softer, uh, softer resin matrix surrounding the hard or filler particles. They are radiolucent. Clinical consideration, rough surfaces, discoloration, poor resistance to occlusal wear. So that was traditional. Now, small particle fill. It was evolved to improve the surface smoothness and physical and mechanical properties of traditional composites. Inorganic fillers are ground to the size of 0 0.5 to 3 microns. Inorganic fillers uh, was 80 to 90% by weight. 
compressive strength 3 to 450 megapascals tensile strength 75 to 90 megapascals plastic modulus 15 to 20 gpm amorphous silica as filler was used so as a filler was basically amorphous silica glasses that contain heavy metals for radio opacity was also used increase in surface smoothness greater uh, wear resistance but heavy metal glass fillers are softer and more prone to hydrolyze and leach in water than amorphous silica and quartz Clinical consideration, higher strength and other physical properties indicated for high stress and abrasion prone areas, for example, class four sites. Provide a reasonably smooth surface for anterior restorations, but not more than micro microfill composites. So we've discussed traditional and small fill, now we're coming on to microfill. Problems of surface roughening and low translucency associated with traditional and small particle composites is overcome by use of microfill composites. Colloidal silica particles, filler ratio, particle ratio 0 0.04 to 0 0.4 microns, reinforcement of resin with filler as well as surface smoothness. Inorganic fillers uh, was present in 35 to 67% by weight, compressive strength 250 to 350 megapascals, and tensile strength 32. 50 megapascals. They remain wear resistant for several years, but in the longer term, if placed in wear prone areas, will eventually break down. Clinical considerations preferred for restoring teeth and uh, with various lesions and smooth surfaces, for example, class 3 and 4. The inorganic filler particle sizes are smaller than abrasive particles used for finishing the restoration. The silica filler is removed along with the resin in which it is embedded, leaving, the, leaving a smooth polished surface. Not preferred for class 2 and class 4. Depending of pre-polymerized composite filler, chipping at the margins of restoration. Examples are Drenamel microfill, Durafil matrix, and either microfill. Now coming on to hybrid composites. They were developed to obtain aesthetics better than SPF, that is small particle uh, size, then while maintaining the desirable properties of the latter. Contains two kinds of filler particles, colloidal silica and ground particles of classes containing heavy metals. Filler contains 75 to 80 uh, percent by weight. Physical properties range between those of traditional and SPF composites but superior to microfill composite. The opacity is greater than that of enamel. Clinical consideration, class four restoration, stress bearing posterior restoration. The first submicron hybrid was introduced by Herculite in 1975. Charisma in 1980s and Synergy Vitalisense P16. Composites. A modification of SPF and hybrid composite resulted in flowable composite. Introduced in late 1960, 19, 1996, reduced filler content adapts intimately to the, intimately to the cavity form, but has poor wear resistance. Used as an uh, as a cavity base or liner where access is difficult, minimal class one restoration as filler sealants. Example: Estet X Flow, Elide Fluoride, Durafil Flow, Flow Restore, Fluid, etc. Then we have packable composite, also called as condensable composite, introduced in 1990s to enable clinician to apply technique techniques similar to those used for amalgam restoration, contain elongated fibrous filler particles around 100 microns in length. Textured surfaces that interlock and resist flow causes uncured resin resistant to be stiff and resistant to slumping. Desirable characteristic, non-sticky wedge to tool surface, easily transferable and packable, moisture tolerant, should not show much elastic recovery, higher critical shear strength for flow. No access problems for cure, cures rapidly to final hardness, but with minimal residual stress, 
little or no shrinkage on curing, easily carved varnish or smoothened. Then we have composite inserts. Perform shapes and preformed uh, shapes and sizes of glass ceramics whose surfaces have been silane treated. Available in different shapes: L, T, round, conical, cylindrical size, zero point five to two mm, two mm in size. An application used to minimize the marginal contraction gaps in composite fillings. Properties: low low coefficient of thermal expansion, beer resistant. Reduces polymerization shrinkage up to seventy five percent in stiffness of filling. It is radio opaque. Manipulation pressed into the cavity that is already filled with unpolymerized composite. Restoration is then contoured using diamond rotary instrument and then polished. Cavity is prepared and thin layer of composite is placed. Above this, glass fillers are placed. Then rest of the cap is filled with composite resin. Then contouring is done, cured, and finishing and polishing is done. So this is how we take it. We place it in the cavity. Okay, then we have fiber reinforced composite. It was first described in 1960s by Smith when glass fibers were introduced to reinforce polymethyl meth acrylate. Contains fiber aimed at enhancing the physical properties. This group of material is very heterogeneous depending on the nature of the fiber, geometrical arrangement of the fibers, and overlining resin used. Fibers within the composite matrix are bonded to the resin by an adhesive surface interface. Fibers increase the structural properties by acting as crack stoppers. The resin matrix acts to protect the fibers and fix their geometrical arrangement, holding them at predetermined position to provide optimal reinforcement. The interface plays the vital role of allowing the load to be transferred from matrix to the fibers. And fi fibers are classified based on material composition, fiber architecture within the restoration, surface impregnation status, product design for chair site or laboratory use. Then based on the material use, it has been classified as glass, high ultra mold, weight polyethylene fibers and Kevlar fibers. Based on the fiber structure or architect architecture, unidirectional weaved, mesh or braided. Based on the impregnation status, pre-impregnated to resin, impregnation required prior to the bonding. Okay, now factors influencing the physical properties of fiber reinforced composite are fiber loading. In this fracture resistance increases with increase in the quantity of the fibers in the polymer matrix. In fiber matrix interface, large differences between the elastic properties of matrix and fibers have to be communicated through this interface. Wetting of the fibers by resin is very important. In fiber architecture and orientation, unidirectional fibers give anisotropic mechanical properties suitable when the direction of the highest stress is predictable. Fiber weave in two direction allows for multi-directional reinforcement of restoration. In clinical applications of FRCs, reinforced resin-based composite, single individual restoration for like inlay, onlay, partial or full venial crowns, then periodontal splinting or post-trauma splint, immediate replacement, transitional and long-term provisional bridges. And fixed bridge work, like for anterior and posterior, single can cantilever, fixed, fixed, then implant supported. Then reinforcement or repairing dentures and fixed orthodontic retainers. Advantages, low treatment cost, single visit, immediate tooth replacement, suitable for transitional and long-term provisional restoration, readily repaired, suitable for young patients and elderly. So, yeah. Metal free restorations, improved aesthetics, can be produced in simple manner in laboratory without need for waxing, investing, and casting. Can frequently be used with minimal or no tooth preparation. We are to the opposing tooth much reduced in comparison to the traditional PFMs. Disadvantages, we are of overlay, overlaying veneering composite, especially in patients with significant parafunction. So with parafunctional habit like drithism, we do not generally use this. May lack a sufficient rigidity for long span bridges. Excellent moisture control required for adhesive technique. Then, space requirements are greater in posterior occlusal situations and compared to metal occlusal surfaces. To allow sufficient room for fibers and adequate bulk for veneering composite overlay. Uncertain longevity in comparison to traditional technique. In laboratory based 
pre impregnated pre fiber reinforced systems introduced in 1998. Targus vectoris, highly filled targus seromer composition along with vectoris, a fiber reinforcing composite framework, consists of two major components uh, targus and vectoris. Forms, uh, targus forms the bulk of the restoration and vectoris fiber, uh, forms the fiber framework. Various type of fibers included. Then for metal free posterior bridges, crowns, inlays, and onlays, this was used. Sculpture for our fiber core. Involves veneering as composite resin to resin in pre impregnated glass fiber network. Fibers available in 15 centimeter lens for various widths. Sculpture is polycarbonate based composite resin. Then we have rebond. It is a cross linked leno stitch weave of polyethylene fibers. Then we use chair size or in laboratory to fabricate composite resin bridges. Then we have ormosos. Dr. Herbert Walters from uh, Fraunhofer Institute for Silicate Research introduced this class of material in 1994. This is organically modified ceramic, represents a novel inorganic organic copolymers in the formulation that allows for modification of its mechanical parameters. Example is definite. Inorganic condensing molecule segment is used to build an inorganic network. An inorganic silicate network is developed through targeted hydrolysis and inorganic polycondensation in the sol gel process. The organically polymerizing molecule segment has methacrylate groups, which forms an additional crosslink network matrix for after the induction of a radical based polymerization. The inorganic polycondensation and the organic polymerization result in formation of an inorganic organic copolymer. This is how this matrix is formed. And pillars 1 to 1.5 microns in size contain 77% by weight and 61% by volume. Matrix, low molecular monomer components, mainly bis-GMM, on light activation, we see 60 to 70% they can be eluted. Silicon, ox uh, silicon oxide, a filler, serves as a basic substance for ormosol, modified by, uh, by adding polymerizable side chains in the form of metacrylate. Metacrylate molecules can no longer be eluted during incomplete polymerization. Ormosol has a biocompatible polysiloxane uh, network with a low shrinkage. Physical properties, bending strength, 100 to 160 MPa, modulus of elasticity 10 to 17 GPa. Then, uh, I guess it is not important. Advantages by compatibility will not release any detectable residual substance. Reduce polymerization shrinkage, lasting aesthetics available in 16 shapes, and anti ferrogenic property. We have ceromer, ceramic optimized polymer composition. Composed of specially developed and conditioned fine particles, ceramic fillers of submicron size, which are closely packed and embedded in an advanced temperable organic polymer matrix. Properties of ceramers, composites, and they exhibit fluoride release lower than conventional glass ionomers or compomers. Uses for veneers, inlay, onlay without a metal framework can be used with fiber reinforced composite framework for inlays, onlays, crown bridges, and for crowns and bridges, including implant restoration on a metal framework. Ceramers so, com uh, combine the advantage of ceramic and composite durable aesthetics, high abrasion uh, resistance, high stability, ease of final adjustment, then uh, Excellent polishability, effective bond with luting composite, low degree of brittleness, and conservation of tooth structure. Then we have nanocomposites. Nanotechnology refers to the deliberate placement of manipulation and measurement of sub-100 nanometer scale matter. The first nanocomposite introduced was uh, Filtech Supreme, into uh, the company's 3M ESP. 
which is nano sized materials and other technological clustering, it provided more polishability without sacrificing strength. Clustering is a process by which numerous nanoparticles are combined to form large particles. 30 different shades in four opacities, dentine, body, enamel, and translucent. Feltec Supreme <clears throat> as examples. So basically, discrete non-agglomerated and non-aggregated particles of 20 to 75 nanometers in size, nanomer, then nano cluster, and then nanotube. Advantages, superior translucency and aesthetic appeal, excellent color, high polish and polish retention, superior hardness, flexural strength and modulus elasticity, about 50% reduction in polymerization shrinkage, excellent handling properties. So, debonding, marginal staining, micro leakage, secondary carriers, enamel micro cracks, post operative sensitivity. So, this has been. Then types of monomers added to composites, spiro orthocarbonates uh, with dimethacrylate resin, with epoxy resins, with epoxy plus polyol in the proportion of 4 to 8. Advantages, shrinkage was half of that of BizGM or TechGM. Disadvantages, less reactivity, decreased cross-linking, and poor mechanical properties. And polyol with oxyrane, shrinkage of 0.6% at 60 minutes and 1.6% at 24 hours. Contraction stress lesser than conventional composite. And then vinyl cyclopropanes. Replace tech DMA and uh, bis GMA UDMA resin. Shrinkage is two, two third of bis GMA or UDMA resin. Then poly butadine rubber polymer. 20 micrometer of this polymer is absorbed into fumed silica and added with GMA or tech DMA, reduced shrinkage by 25%. Then methacrylated styrene alkyl, alkyl, so allyl alcohol added to replace 20% with GMA and tech DMA with 62% volume percent filler, reduced shrinkage by 20%. Then we have silurane, which is a combination of siloxane and oxyranes. Polymerizes by cationic ring opening process, shrinkage values. Less than 1% uh, by volume. E elastic modulus and flexural strength comparable to those of methacrylase based composites. So, saline based composite polymerizes ring opening polymers connect by op opening, flattening, and extending towards each other. The result is significantly less volumetric shrinkage compared to methacrylate uh, based composite. As methacrylate based composite cure, the molecules of these uh, liner monomers connect by actually shifting closer together in a linear response. This is result in a loss of volume. This is how it comes. Then we have tris synthesized by reacting triphenyl all methane tri triglycidyl ether with methro with methacrylic acid in the presence of 4 pyridine. Very low photopolymerization uh, shrinkage. That is of 0.2.09%. 3 is to 2. TTMA and uh, tech DMA until reason reveal 10% lower shrinkage than that of conventional base DMA system. The flexural strength of a light activated composite reason formulated with TTMA is comparable to that of a bis DMA composite reason under the same condition. Inorganic organic hybrids. Created by the means of sol gel processing of hydrolytically condensable, organically modified tri-alkoxylanes, which contain radically polymerizable methacrylate groups or cyclic groups capable of ring opening polymerization. Improved polymerization shrinkage, bio resistance, and biocompatibility. And we have cyclopolymerizable monomers, reaction of conventional monofunctional acrylate monomers with paraformaldehyde. The external position of the acrylates esters means that these pendant groups can be varied for alteration of physical properties of the monomers and corresponding polymers. The polymers exhibit high degrees of conversion and significantly reduced polymerization shrinkage compared with polymers obtained from conventional diacrylate or dimethacrylate. Then we have antibacterial monomer. In this, we add MDPB. 
Imazoto et al. in 1994 incorporated non-releasing newly synthesized monomer MDPB with antibacterial properties into resin composite. MDPB is meth acryloxy desyl pyrinidium bromide. It is chemically bound. It was found to be effective against streptococci. However, its activity against most important species in uh, formation like actinomyces, actinomyces Neisseria, uh, Vellonella still needs to be investigated. After curing, no illusion of antibacterial components from the material comparable to triclosane. Bioactive formulations, ACP amorphous calcium phosphate and ACP plus bis-GMA or tech dma hema with zirconyl methacrylate. Chlorinated bisgm analogs, liquid crystalline monomers. So this was composite. Now coming on to ceramic. The composition is Pelspar, 75 to 85%, kaolin, which acts as a binder, consisting of a concentration of 4 to 5%. Then we have pods, it uh, improves the strength, firmness in transfer energy, 13 to 14%. Then we have different glazes. We have self glazing that in this external glaze is not applied. And we have add on glazes when external glaze is applied. Disadvantage is low chemical durability, difficult to apply evenly, difficult to get exact surface characteristics. Coloring agents like iron nickel oxide, copper oxide, titanium oxide, cobalt oxide, they give different colors. We have a pacifying agent which consists of met different metal oxides ground to a very fine particle size. Then to give stains, uh, we can the powder is mixed with the water and the wet mix is applied with the brush to the surface of the porcelain before glazing to give stains. And the glass formers are silica. It can be crystalline quartz, crystalline crystallite, crystalline trimidite, non-crystalline fused silica. Glass modifiers can be potassium oxide, sodium oxide, calcium oxide. They're used as glass modifiers. Then they act as fluxes by lowering the softening temperature of the glass. Then we have intermediate oxides. Glass modifiers reduces the viscosity of porcelain. It needs a high viscosity as well as low firing temperature. This can be done by adding alumina oxide and barium oxide. Advances, so we have colorless porcelain. In this, basically, uh, color is absent in the jival area. They can be made with platinum color refractory dye. Then we have all ceramics classification. Conventional powder slurry ceramics, we have high ceram, optic, HSP, Dioris, Duceram, LFC, castable, we have Dicor, Serapol, pressable, IPS and press, one, two. Optic, pressable ceramic, then we have infiltrated, then in this we have n ceram, and we have machinable, uh, all ceramic restorations. In this we have CADCAM. Coming on to conventional powder and slurry technique. In this porcelain jacket crowns are very brittle and fractured easily, uh, poor marginal adaptation, processing, they can be used, they can be made using platinum foil technique. Platinum foil is first adapted to dye and the foil acts as a matrix and supports the porcelain during firing. We have aluminous uh, porcelain jacket crown called as high ceram. Introduced post uh, McLean and you uh, you uh, introduced this uh, with aluminous coat to improve the strength of the traditional porcelain jacket crowns. Increase content of alumina uh, in the coat strength in the porcelain by interruption or crack propagation. Then factors affecting the strength and opacity. Find that the green size greater the strength. Coarse greens are less opaque, so there is the compromise between the strength and aesthetics. Size of the glass powder is less than forty microns, and this is. Sized powder softens, uh, and this size powder softens and flows more easily around aluminum grains, producing high center densities. Rounded grains are preferred over angular ones since angular ones interfere with the flow of glass phase, producing flaws around the grains and reduces the strength. Then the properties: compressive strength, uh, three lakh sixteen thousand psi; transfer strength, twenty thousand. Shear 21,000 uh, and model structure 15,000. Uses uh, 
basically for refractory framework capable of supporting weaker but more translucent dentin and enamel porcelains. And we have Lucid in reinforced porcelain. And this we have Optic HSP. Advantages, lack of metal or opaque substructure, good transparency, moderate flexure strength. Disadvantages, potential fracture of the posterior teeth, increased lucite content leads to high in vitro wear of teeth. And we have Bucerum LFC, also called as hydrothermal low fusing porcelain, composed of amorphous glass containing hydroxyl ions. This is how it looks like. Then we have castable gla uh, or glass ceramics. A metal stable glass is first formed after casting. During subsequent heat treatment, control crystallization occurs with the nucleation and the growth of internal crystals. This conversion process of a glass to partially crystalline glass is ceramic. So this glass ceramic is multi-phase solid containing residual glass phase with finely dispersed crystalline phase, decreasing the crack propagation. We have dicor as an example, contains silicate, potassium, magnesium oxide, magnesium fluoride, aluminum oxide, zirconium oxide for durability and added. Fluorescing agent for aesthetics. Fluoride acts as a nucleating agent to improve the fluidity of the modern glass. Then serapol. This we have calcium oxide. Then we have phosphorus oxide. Then we have silicate. Compared to normal enamel, crystals of serapel show irregular arrangement, and this difference in arrangement accounts for increased mechanical properties. We have pressable, in this we have IPS Impress, and we have CAD CAM restorations. And that is computerized surface digitization, computerized aided technique, a design, computer assisted uh, manufacturing, computer aided. Aesthetics and computer aided finishing. In this, we have Select 1 and Select 2. We have Select 3 and we have Select 3D, which is has marginal good fit. Uh, contacts can be chosen in three-dimensional movable camera. So, cavity consideration for CAD CAM. No conve convexity should be present on purple and gingival walls. Occlusal step should be a 1.5 mm to 2 mm in depth. Estima should be at least 1.5 mm. Why to decrease the possibility of fracture of restoration? Buckle and lingual walls for the preparation may converge towards the occlusion. This feature is unique to Sarex system as it automatically block out any undercuts during optical impression. Actual wall should be stressed and no gap of margin and level should be given. And we have Procera. Procera system uses CAD CAM. Has highly uh, high densely centered aluminum oxide coping and low fusing all ceramic veneering porcelain. Scanner is used to take the impression of the teeth. The scanner probe is made to contact the surface of the dye as it revolves around the vertical axis. By the end of it, 50,000 lines will be mapped. And, at, and once it is scanned, the Procera software will design the restoration. Then it is sent to the Procera lab for making the ceramic. We have shrink free ceramic. In it, we have restore, the restore coping and alceram. And we have CapTech system. It is reinforced high noble uh, gold copying, consists of approximately 88% gold, 4% platinum, 4% palladium, 3% silver, and 1% iridium. We have example CapTech P and CapTech G. So the layer of CapTech P wax is intimately contoured to the refractory dye. The first firing cycle creates a skeleton of platinum, palladium, and gold particles. Then CapTech G is added to the coping and when fired results in an internally reinforced gold coping. External view of the uh, completed 22 carat CapTech coping. Uh, the absence of black metal oxides, it doesn't have that. This is all about ceramics. So we have discussed about amalgam, GIC, composite, and ceramic. So these is an advancement which have introduced a true revolution in the field of restorative dentistry, have enabled the dental, dental clinicians to perform better and to present high quality service for their patients. And the technology is still going on. Thank you. I hope you understood the recent advances in restorative materials.